Uh, so Mia, tell everybody what you ate today. What huh? was your meal? What is that? Spritzel? A what? Spritzel. What is it? It's a pork and potato. I, I thought it was fish. I mean chicken. It looked like pork. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even think she know what she ate. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. <laughs> it was good. So Mia, tell everybody how soon you're going to have the baby. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody where we're at right now with it. Where are uh, Where we're at. Uh, we're here in Guam. No, no, no. Uh, as far as having the child. Um, in oh, Holy Child. No, on, on the 6th. On, uh, the, on uh, the 16th, what's going to happen? When? When? On the 16th, what are they going to tell you? Uh, 16, they're going to tell the doctor when when they're going to CS. When are they going to do the cesarean? Uh, cesarean, CS. So, you know, I've been telling a lot of my viewers that uh, after 16th, a lot of you have been guessing about what date is going to be between, you know, the 16th and, and the first time, the first week in March. So, no, not much. No, we don't know yet because you got to wait today's schedule with the doctor, right? Yeah. So on Friday, we'll know exactly when. Uh, on Friday, we'll know when you're going to have it and when they're going to schedule it. Maybe they tell that 17 they're going to Cesarean. That, that soon? No. Huh? Wow. <laughs> you know, that's earth shattering to me. I didn't think it was going to be that fast. I thought I had a little bit more time to prepare. But if they talk about doing you're that's Saturday. Gonna, you're they're going to do it on March. Saturday? No, not March, but you know. Hmm. I think so to do something like that. Friday's, uh, 16th is on Friday. Hmm. So they may tell you to come in on Saturday for the Cesarean? No, Friday. 16. 16th is on I'm, Friday. I'm going back to the hospital 16 and yeah. that's the doctor told me that she can say it's already. Oh, and then they schedule it. Yeah, they're going to schedule. Okay, well, let me put it. If they tell you when you're going to 16, don't schedule it no sooner than next Friday. Give me another week to prepare myself. <laughs> you know, don't. They're going to IA me. They're going, going to IA. If the baby's here already, it's ready. Oh. They're not going to give a uh, trade is not li li like that long, no. Oh, oh. So they can, they, she can, she can tell me that, okay, it's ready now. We can like that. Deliver now. Oh. Okay, well, let me ask you something. Uh, you, you've had, you have, uh, you've had a couple other children before. What has been the difference with, with this pregnancy? Seeing that it's from a black American, <laughs> very different. <laughs> How? Very sensitive. You're very sensitive. Yeah, my, I I have a lot of pain. I have a lot of and what's that? Uh, it look like it's not normal. Before I I did not feel sick. No. I'm still working. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're working now. Uh, but around not, it's not well, like you, well, you, you were working a job before. <laughs> well, you, now, now you're just working around the house. I mean, she keeps very busy. I mean, let me tell you, you're washing clothes and and and, and cleaning the house and mopping and all that stuff. She does keep pretty busy. But what else is the difference? I mean, you know, is there? Uh, I feel. I mean, I mean, do do you feel this baby's bigger than than your other two children or, or, uh, or what? Same, same? This same big, but. It look like she is sin he is sensitive. It, it seems she almost gave it away. She said he, she, she almost gave it away, y'all. She almost gave it away what it's going to be. She said she. You heard her say she and switch up to he. <laughs> so, sensitive. You know, I told her that if it's a girl, we're going to name it uh, um, Queen Duchess because that way uh, it have my mother's name. And of course, you know if it's a boy, it'd be King Gerard. So <laughs> I think Mia just slipped up. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mia's a lot smarter than she, I, than I give her credit for. So, um, so how how was uh, the pregnancy has been for you? It's okay. So tell about some of the cravings that you had. I know she had craving for sticky rice one day. <laughs> Bring uh, me sticky rice. <laughs> I always fun craving. I like to eat that. I like to eat like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, without without giving a away of what it is, what uh, what are you hoping it it'll be? Uh, 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 are you wanting a boy or girl or, or what? Uh, you know, I think she would want a girl. 
because she already has two boys. Well, I like a girl so because a long time I'm one like a girl. I like pony. I like arty arty. <laughs> arty arty. <laughs> Wearing that sexy dress. Uh, <laughs> I think she wants a doll. <laughs> well, 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 that's good, you know. But you know, sometimes I wonder about you know what's you know about raising it. You know, sometimes I think about it being a Filipino child. I start thinking about you know I uh, about the Filipino ways, the Filipino culture. You know, often the time they let kids just do what they want to do, you know, you know, like me. But you know, I have to remind me of that. This is my kid, me. This is my baby. <laughs> let me in my way. Me, how much? How much am I gonna be involved? You involve every time. You, y'all yeah, gonna be very involved while she gets on that treadmill and lose that fat ass. <laughs> Get back to her fighting weight. <laughs> uh, so, is there anything that um uh, that you want to tell my viewers about? Uh, about giving birth. Well, I mean, are you happy yet you're having my child, or? Oh, of course. Uh, you are. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I have a baby from the foreigner. <laughs> you have you have a baby from a foreigner. <laughs> well, I guess that says it all right there. <laughs> you know, you know, today we were at a place called Billy's, <clears throat> and there's a girl there, who uh, I think she's 20 years old. And she's already pregnant, and uh, she she just met a foreigner, and uh, they got together. So I was asking Mia, I said, "Wow, you know." I was asking her, you know, why him? I mean, if you look at this guy, it's like, damn, you know, you're you're a gorgeous Filipino girl, you know, out of all the foreigners in the world, you know. But you know, who knows what the heart likes? But then I think it's also just a matter of of, of wanting to have uh, have a foreigner, because foreigner does mean security. Barna does mean, you know, um, uh, uh, safety, you know, uh, providing that they stay together. And that's the key thing about the Philippines is that, you know, uh, couples staying together. Often the time you see, it's something about when a Filipina hits 18, 19, 20, you know, a lot of them end up being pregnant and by noise. And most of the time, when they get married or get together, you know, they usually, a lot, a lot of Pinoy's cheat, huh? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You don't know why? Even they don't have, they don't have money, it's cheating. Cheating? <laughs> They're looking for Boy. somebody else to buy yeah. Red Horse, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's sad, it's not funny, but, but you know, that, they that's... They not support the kids. Yeah, yeah. But they have still looking another one girl they make a baby again then running again like that wow that's wow. filipino wow well 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 you know i uh today is february 14th and i also want to wish my father a happy birthday henny bell who passed oh, yeah. away who passed away uh, many years ago happy but, in heaven yeah yeah happy 14th in heaven okay is there anything else you want to say oh wait Angel, come here, Angel. <laughs> come here. This, this, this is Angel. Yes, wait, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. This is Angel. She, she's, she's been on my blog before. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, she, uh, she has been on one of my, uh, like one of my promo. Yes. Okay. One of my promos where uh, she says thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth and etc etc etc. I'll probably I'll probably put it on at the end of this one so to remind just to refresh you about her. But uh, again, we're at Casablanca. Casablanca. Um, the owner is um, uh, I, I can't remember her name. God forgive me. Friend of your friend. Yeah, friend of my friend. <laughs> Dave's Dave's wife's uh, school friend. If uh, she was in the video where uh, 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 Dave um, revisiting Dave building his house and she's in there and she had invited us to um, to come here for the 14th wait I was and I wanted to um, 
I invited us to come here to Casablanca and I told her I would so I don't know I thought I might get a discount but I don't know if there's gonna be a discount at all because she's not here Angel Angel just say hello just say hello just say hello hello good evening <laughs> that's all it's very busy here I'm very glad that she at least gave us that much time but hold on a second I'm gonna see if I can find her name because um, it's Philly also, I think. No, Philly um, is it, the is, same name. No, um, yeah, yeah, Philly. Philly. Yeah, her name is Philly. Philly is the owner is, of the owner of Casablanca, and her her husband who's, who's out of the country right now, but she's the one who invited us to come here and have our Valentine's Day here. Dinner. So Philly, uh, we both say thanks. Say thank you to Philly. Uh, thank you for the honor of this Casablanca. The name is Philly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans of winning action. Never disrespect the elderly or pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. We're living good today. We're living good today. Yeah. Yeah, and we hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ali Woodson form, a lead singer, The Temptation, one song, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king, and what? Don't say no. <laughs> never, never say no. Okay, and because it's Valentine's Day, you know, I, I hope you have someone special in your life that you can call and, and wish happy uh, Valentine's Day, or you can be with, you know. Having someone to love and be with is a wonderful thing. But often the time, a lot of us are don't. But it, it's 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 wonderful when you do. It's wonderful when you get people, you know, wishing you happy Valentine's Day, you know, from all over the world. But with that being said, I always love you more. Can we throw me a kiss? Mwah. We'll talk to you later. Peace.